think of my meal, Martin? It was absolutely disgusting. It was. This is how it all started. I thought I'd try recording how I do my tofu. I've got a very, very hot fat here and I threw in some tamari, which might have been a mistake. That should probably go at the end. But um, I used um, some sesame oil as well, which gives it a gorgeous taste. And I'm going to put that in at the end, the infused oil, because garlic oil shouldn't be cooked. And, and I'm, just, I'm just using um, soy oil. So this is as small as I cut my tofu, probably even smaller. And then I just bang it in. And the idea is only to turn it on to not to mess with it. So you can see it's nicely going a little bit brown there. And the idea is to have that all over. Literally sear it, which is what I've done. I've turned one over and you can see that's the sort of brown that you want. And obviously the smaller the pieces, the more crunchy it's going to be. And it's going to go on a bed of rice and linseed. And, and then these vegetables I've done. Uh, dried tomatoes, mushrooms, celery, green peppers, one spring green, um, and quite a bit of asaphotidia, which is a herb which um, people can have to recreate the onion and garlic taste. It's a slight celery tasting thing, but it's for people who can't tolerate onion and garlic, like me, who have trouble with their tummies, and that gives a different kind of taste. And also, the other thing I've thrown in, it's a lovely herb, which I think I talked about before, which we got from the Vegan Festival. This mixture, which looks absolutely gorgeous. So I hope I haven't mixed up my herbs too much. And I'll probably put in some liquid amino and probably a little bit more tamari. And maybe some walnuts in the end. So this tofu is going to go on top of here, on top of the rice. To mention, I also put quite a bit of kale in, but basically that's because it's all we had in the fridge. And I got completely addicted to this Thai sweet chilli sauce, which is just lovely with everything. So, well, I went for it and chucked in the coconut milk. I hope it wasn't a mistake. I've just sprinkled the crushed walnuts on top, and I'm just about to put the tofu on it. Together, and I put it on top of the rice and mixed it. I'm not sure if that's a good idea, because it's a wet mixture with... Um, the coconut not making it quite wet so the test is in a tasting i'll let you know soon well we thought we'd record our response to that meal i let martin kick off what did you think of my meal martin it was absolutely disgusting it was it was slimy yeah tasteless oh it wasn't tasteless the tastes were in there but it was completely disguised by the slime yeah, by far the worst meal yeah. I've had. Yeah, in a long, long time. For Probably the worst since I've been vegan. The problem was, I put linseed in with the rice to bulk it out because we were running out of rice. If only I, my hand had closed over the millet or the quinoa or even the couscous, but no, it was linseed. And I'd forgotten that linseed turns to slime, which is great if you're doing an egg replacement or even a pudding, but not in a risotto. <laughs> Up with Swedish glass vanilla with mango puree on top. Finish on a positive note about tofu. I've discovered in Tofuri in Norwich they make their own tofu and this is extra super firm and it is there's absolutely no liquid in it at all. It's really lovely. So uh, we, we had it diced today and I did that same cubing up and frying <coughs> and uh, the lady that sold me was telling me it's lovely if you if you sprinkle salt and pepper and a bit of lemon <clears throat> and some balsamic vinegar and put it on a salad after you've cooked it. So I'm um, looking forward to doing that. We have finally got the van fixed and we are heading off to Scotland on Friday where we're going to cross over to Ireland and tour around Ireland for six weeks and then cross over back to Scotland and go to the Edinburgh Festival for a week. So we've got a very exciting couple of months ahead and hopefully um, we will encounter lots of lovely vegan places and I'll come up with some more lovely concoctions, hopefully lovelier than the, um, the one I talked about today. So I'll be seeing you soon. Bye.